Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm super excited for today's video because it is a huge before and after transformation and of course there is some cleaning in this video as well because y'all are used to seeing me clean my house to give you some motivation. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, my name is Kimmy and I do all kinds of cleaning, decorating, content on this channel so i hope that you will stick around if you are interested in those kind of videos and without further ado let's go ahead and get started in today's video all right so before we get started painting i wanted to show y'all what the walls looked like previously and y'all some of these walls were pretty yellow so i am so excited to paint these walls white to make them look more bright but that is one coat over there that i was showing you that i'd already done but this is what our walls looked like before we started painting and then we're going to show you our process of painting them and what we did to fix the holes in the walls. So now we are painting the house and what I did was when Aaron was painting one area I would go behind him and start touching up all the corners and the cracks and then when he was done drying that area then I would go through and paint a second coat so we would just kind of go around each other the whole time and we really made up speed with that <laughs> doing that so Definitely have someone help you paint if you are painting your house too. But here's some shots of the first coat and we're going to go ahead and put on the second coat. Day two of our home repairs slash painting. And Aaron's going to patch some holes that are in the wall. Anyways, this is the hole right here. And I'll try to zoom in real quick for y'all, but he's about to patch this. Um, right now I'm cutting off all the little, the little stuff that's sticking out because it just just mess it up. You gotta make it, uh, I guess, smooth. This is Alex Plus Spackling. It's a wall filler. You can get it at Walmart. They have another kind. I forget the name of it, but it's actually pink. And then when it dries, it turns white. Yeah. But I don't want to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is on a budget. I, I know when it's dry. Yeah. The bigger it is, or the more you use, the more longer it takes to dry. And we let it dry for, for like a whole day, and then you well, go through and two. smooth it. There's yeah. a big hole back here that I fixed, and it yeah. took several days. And then I still got to put some more on it. We should have probably cut it, cut it out, and put a new piece in. But yeah, you can. Th this is just the, I would say, easiest way of doing it. The easiest way, and it's pretty cheap. Yeah, because the other option, if I mean, if you wanted to would be if you have a really big hole so you can see that whole really big white circle back there that was a huge hole huge and so if you wanted to you could replace the panel but Aaron said that the you have to be careful because you could break the panel like the brand new one that you get you could break it trying to install it so if you don't want to have to worry about that and you are able to just fill it in or cut the square out and then repair it that way you do that because you can paint over it so y'all can tell this has just had one coat of paint of white and this is the old and this originally should have been white as you can see right there the seam is white but whoever lived here before we did <laughs> smoked a lot of cigarettes <laughs> because or they just sprayed self tanner all over their walls because <laughs> it is super dark and dingy and the lights in here I have yellow lights but I'm gonna get uh, daylights for the kitchen the hallway and the laundry area that way when we're filming it can be brighter but you can already tell like it's such a difference between 
this wall right here and this wall right here but hopefully y'all are enjoying this video so far we are not anything uh professional <laughs> But yeah, it keeps bubbling out because it's a big hole. Um, but I'll, I'll leave it like that. And it dry up. I'll sand it down. And if it needs a little bit more, that's what I'll do. So each layer you have to let dry. And then you can start again. There's a smaller hole right here. Which is just like somebody had like moved something like a bed rail and stuck it into the wall. And there's a little flap right here, and this little flap will actually help it stay. It actually keep it keep it in there pretty good. Okay. It will bubble out. And you don't even have to have a like a professional sander. You can just buy. You can, you can hand sand it. Hand sand you, it. You can use one of these things that I got. He's gonna show you something. <laughs> you just put sandpaper. Okay. On it. Yeah. So you can buy one of these. Just Put sandpaper on it. It's already got a handle on it so it don't hurt your hand. And you're not trying to hold a piece of sandpaper from sliding around under your hand. Yeah. But I gotta add some more to this big hole. But if you got an electric sander, it makes it fast. This note that whenever you sand, it makes a lot of powder. This is where I sand it a little bit. Yeah. It makes a lot of powder and some people might have a reaction to it. So wear a mask if so, you need to. So wear a mask. Or gloves. Wear a mask if you're very sensitive to, to stuff like that. Yeah. But I gotta smooth this. There's a bunch of spots right here that is not level. But this was a huge hole. It was. It looked like somebody punched the wall and it didn't like the material didn't go all the way through like it wasn't a blowout but there was just a huge crack going down and so you needed to patch it before we could paint it and there's a lot of spots in the house that are like this so i'm not sure what I've why got one. I've got the one in the bedroom fixed. it wasn't us y'all that's why the trailer was so cheap when we got it because there was a lot of like if you wanted to live here forever there's a lot of things that would need to be repaired like cosmetically before I put some on thing I put in it, well, it like but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's a solid yeah it is wiggling because it's, it's the panel is loose yeah but it is solid while he's doing that I'll show you all the paint we got because compared to the Valspar paint that I had picked up from Lowe's this paint that we got is so much better and it doesn't feel like the paint in our bathroom still feels like kind of sticky um but this paint it it feels dry and you know like you could wash it if you needed to all right so this is the brand we got it's gildan we got it at walmart endurance plus grab and go so you don't have to get them to start or anything it's an interior paint and primer and it's in the color white Okay, and the house is a mess <laughs> because we have been painting, so you're definitely going to see some cleaning in this video. Um, you may have already seen it, I'm not sure, but this is what the wall looks like here that has two coats of paint on it, and I want to tell y'all, there's no lights on in this room. This is just how bright it makes it look, but there it is, the white, and then I've also got two coats right here so you can see this color and then how dark that is back there so big difference just changing the colors white now this wall is still not painted because I will show you all the color that we are possibly painting this so we have some contrast in here not everything is super white color that we are going to be doing our laundry area and the back wall in our living room so this one is called I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom up for y'all but it is called blue gray sky and it's this middle one 
right here. I also like this one, which is called Dark Winter Sky Blue. So it's like a grayish blue color, but I'm afraid, like the same in our bedroom, how the color on the swatch looked a lot lighter than what it actually turned out with on the wall. I'm thinking if we do the lighter shade on this wall, that it will actually come out closer to this shade at the top. So that is what we're gonna do for this wall and then I'll show you the other wall that we're gonna do this color on. So this is our laundry area and excuse the mess, <laughs> today is trash day, but this little wall right here, this little nook, there's three walls. We're gonna paint that this light bluish gray color in the middle right here as well. So with all of this painting, the house has <laughs> taken a back seat. So I'm just going to take a moment to clean up everything because it was a huge mess, y'all. And I cannot function in a mess. Like, I cannot worry about painting my house if the house itself is messy. So I thought this would be an awesome time to bring in all the cleaning motivation and inspire y'all to get some cleaning done today. And I hope you enjoy this portion of the video. Then I'll be able to show you what everything looks like after we got finished painting. We can start all over. Right here I'm cleaning up some packages that I had gotten. One of them was from Verse. It was this homesteading canning book. And then I got two packages from Nicole again. <laughs> Thank you both of you ladies for sending me some stuff recently. I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you everyone that just watches the videos. Also, like that is amazing in itself. But y'all have it's just beyond blessed me and Aaron. So I just appreciate it a lot. I'm the first one to get off at the station. There's something in the air that I can't play. Nicole sent me this gel that's from Scrubbing Bubbles and then this hook hanger thingy that you can put all your brooms and mops on, which I desperately needed, so I really appreciate that. So I'm sitting in the living room. This is our kitchen right here. It is super bright, the cabinets are, and this is the wall that we painted. We painted all this whole wall in the living room all the way until the door in our bedroom is white. We even painted the door white as well. It looks so much better. We had a cover over the wall right there where the past owners had cut it out to put an air conditioner it was brown so we went ahead and painted that white so everything is looking so much brighter i love it and the wallpaper you see in the kitchen is going to be painted maybe i don't know what it's probably going to be painted white and then we're going to have a backsplash from right there by the fridge where i'm pointing to all the way to here and then 
that will add some like contrast in so that is what the kitchen looks like it's so much brighter than it was in the beginning of the video what you saw it was really dark and dingy looking so now it's just a lot more fresh and it looks like a new home to us it's just very grateful that it, all it took was some paint to kind of revive this home so i will take y'all over here so you can see like a better view of this side of the kitchen i feel like it opened it up so right now i am at the counter and I was telling Erin, I'm like, wow, I feel like I have to walk way over here to get to the kitchen table. <laughs> so it feels like I have to walk further now. But it's just because the wall is so much brighter. Like, if you have a small house, bright walls are going to widen up your home drastically, I'm telling you. So I decided, instead of having the chairs here like I did before, I just put them in here and over there and I put my little plates right there. That way, this is so much more open now too. There's not like a giant mess. Y'all know how it normally is in this area, a giant mess. So, huh, it looks so good. The little board that's right there that I painted white, it blends in so much better now with the rest of the wall that it makes it just look like one whole piece. And I did fix my curtains. <laughs> so this is the other wall right here that goes into our laundry area. It's so much brighter in this area now. And I painted the door. If y'all watched my carpet cleaning video, then you would remember seeing me clean this door. Well, we went ahead and painted it. And we also painted around this area too, the frame, so that it's brighter and doesn't look so dirty. <laughs> we just painted it. So we also painted this wall right here. And I painted up there. But like I said, this area is going to be that light grayish blue color. I still need to do one coat right here. But I did paint this white as well. So now we can go in the living room. Which is right here. <laughs> we have an open floor plan which is my favorite. So this is the living room. Forgive my camera stand for standing there. But... I love having the windows open and now I feel like I can have the windows open without the room becoming completely dark. So as you can see I have a lot of blues in here so that's why the blue is going to look really good on this wall to have like an accent wall. But we did all white here and these are huge curtains. Big curtains make your space look more grand and big too. That's white. So everything's just kind of all the same color now. And then I'll choose to decorate with color to add like color to it. And behind this door, it's white as well. <laughs> it's been that way though. So we're still not done with the hallway. So I didn't show y'all that. But this is what it looks like now. I don't know if I'm doing a great job of showing y'all. But I'll hide way back here so you can see the whole area it's just so much brighter now and that is my goal now the lights in this room are bright lights in the kitchen they're yellow lights so my goal is to change out all of our lights in our house with white lights and then keep keep the lamps with warm lights that way when it's nighttime it feels like nighttime it feels cozy and warm I don't want to have like a big bright light on at nine o'clock at night when we're trying to wind down to go to bed so I do like warm lights but when it comes to like making videos and stuff these lights help out tremendously you don't have to use a lighting box or nothing all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and you don't want to miss out on more mobile home updates and cleaning videos. And I will see y'all back here in the next video real soon. Bye. Then once to show you my intention, my brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that.